Hi, so we are going to try this again. I've had a couple failed recordings, but I have a good feeling about this one. And hopefully it should work out. Let's get going. Oh, it's so pretty. I love it. This amazing story happened to one old and small robot, serial number C4N whom other robots called Just Kenny. The Robot City had a strict policy about the renovation of outdated robots, and the cold nuclear fusion generator that was powering C4N had long been considered environmentally hostile. Kenny had to be put to sleep and woken up later with a new, polished, and shining body. He did fall asleep, and saw a very strange dream. Everything around him came to a halt and started to get covered with rust and moss and wanted to run away, but couldn't move. He wanted to scream, but he barely had enough energy to squeak. Eventually, he woke up. What happened to the city of robots? Why did all the robots stop moving? Did anyone survive except him? The little rusty canny had to do all he could to find answers to these questions and try to fix it all. Okay. Whoa, so slow. <laughs> so, looks like we're a robot named Canny. That's pretty cute. It really is so pretty. Here we go. Look at us. Look at us. We're ready. And we can go in the shade now. No problem. Oops, sorry. Kind of like a nature taking over vibe, which you know, in an industrialized world, I think that you know, there's a romantic. Oh my gosh, get to that. I didn't like that. So, I'm not good at games, so that's relevant, but I sure do put forth the effort. Delivering pizza. 
Nothing wrong with that. Taking a picture of the scenery. That's, that's so cute. get up the tower. I really like the music. It's very calm and kind of serene. Yeah. Ah, 
Bunny, is that you? Oh, mighty, here we are. And I thought I would never see a living robot again. But how is it that you are still working? Solar cells? Why, of course. You must be the only remaining robot with such remarkable archaic modules. Well, 54 years have passed since that dark day, but I remember it as if it were yesterday. Everyone was going about their business when the great black wings appeared in the sky. The black wings of a dragon. Yes, yes, a real dragon. It was a vicious and relentless beast. It landed on the tower, clasped its claws around the crystal and crushed it. The crystal's enormous energy was released in a brilliant flash and all life in our city stopped. And I, I am the one to blame. Yes, it is all my fault. After all, I was the watchman and it was my duty to protect the crystal. But I failed. I myself can still move only because I am close to its ruins. Until now, I thought that I survived only as a punishment for my guilt. But now, I see that together we have a chance to make everything right. After the crystal had been destroyed, Four of five beams from the power sources are indeed broken, but the last, to the north, miraculously remains undamaged. If you could manage to start the standby generator in the basement, perhaps I could activate the teleport to the northern lands. Take my stick, it is the key to the basement. First off, it just seems kind of weird. He just realized that now, like, that this second, after all this time, I mean, it's kind of egocentric to think that everything is divine punishment just for you.
parking just because I'm low on to grow a new great crystal. You are a real robot, Kami. If only I had been as brave that day. I will wait for your radio signal here, and good luck, my friend. Although Kami was a robot, he did not trust teleports too much. And though he seemed calm on the outside, deep inside he was afraid. However, dimensional transport of matter went off without a hitch. The northern province appeared to be a desolate but beautiful place. For a moment, Kenny even forgot why he had come here. When suddenly... Chapter 3. Okay, so we're gonna save. And, uh, we're gonna call the first episode there, but... Thanks for watching and stuff. And uh, I'll definitely be back with more. Because I'm doing okay so far. Bye.